Hi, I'm Brentwood Baptist Church. You know, uh, 35 more years than I want to tell you when I started doing this thing, if you had told me that I was going to, one, have to be able to express the gospel in 140 characters or, la or less, I wouldn't have known what you were talking about. Or if you had told me that we would have an internet church, an online community, I certainly would not have told you, uh, understood what you were talking about. Because when I got a, uh, out of school in uh, the late 1970s, uh, 1980 was when I graduated with my doctorate. I know, it's a long time ago. Yeah. I, I get this look from, from, my, from my baby staff here. Uh, but. <laughs> Now we have, we have all of this social media, online community, and this kind of stuff. And, uh, and Daryl Gordier works with, uh, in, in our communications uh, department and handles our online stuff. Yeah. So tell me about online church. Yeah, a lot of us, a lot of our church doesn't know that if you were to total up the number of people that visit our online campus, if you will, that we would be the third largest campus behind Station Hill. So it would wow. be like Brentwood, Station Hill, then us. If we have, on average, 500 to 600 people each week watch online at the 9.30 and 11 o'clock hour. Mm. And that's pretty amazing when you think about that. Like, I mean, that is, that's a, that's easily more than what you have at 11.11 or 8 a.m. or even like a lot of our other campuses. So this mm -hmm. is a big group of people. The thing about this is, what most people don't realize is, is these aren't people who just couldn't make it on a Sunday. These are brand new people. 83% of the people who come to our online campus, it's their first time of seeing Brentwood. It's their first time visiting the online campus. Right. So these are new people who are checking us out to see if this is something they want to come and check us out and do. This is where they used to go to the Yellow Pages. Yes. The big thing when I first started right. was you had to have a really, really nice Yellow Pages ad that would catch yeah. people's uh, attention. And in fact, some of my friends named the church so they would be the first church in the Yellow Pages ad. Yeah. That, I mean, that, that happened. Now they go online to, right. to find out if you're their kind of people and their kind of church. Here's what a lot of us don't understand is that when people go through church, they usually want two things. It's either because they searched for us and they found us or somebody shared it with them. Right. And the sharing component is the real part to me that's huge is that if if you're willing to share Brentwood Baptist with somebody, the likelihood of them coming increases, you know, 20x, 20 right. 20 fold, because they know you as a person, they trust you, so therefore they trust your suggestion. And so you would be surprised the number of people who will visit us online because their friend suggested it. So you may have a friend who's like, I really don't want to go to Brentwood because you know what, it's a little intimidating. I'm not really into church. You know what, that's fine. Try us online. Go online. You can on your mobile device, just open up your phone, attend a worship service, see what you think, and kind of get them warm to the idea of coming and see us actually on a Sunday morning coming and visiting the campus. Yeah, it's a great way to talk to your friends. And it's a really, uh, and, and the old thing used to be invite them to come to church with you. Now tell them to hit the uh, online service yeah. And, yeah. And, and join us that way. Exactly, yeah, so we again, we have 83% people are new. Of those 83% that are new, 72% of our attendees are from the national area. So we do have some international audience. Right. We do have people from around the globe who watch us. But these aren't people, you know, up in Canada. These are people like right next door to us who are watching us. So we have a real huge opportunity for us in terms of the digital space of doing something that's new. You know, you talked about, you know, you can imagine the idea of church online. I think we are in the middle as a church. We're in the middle of one of those every 500 years. Yeah. Church changes and, and you huge, know, huge transition. we're in a big shift. So this is something for us that we've really thought long and hard about. So we're excited about doing and we're really excited about what we've seen God, how God's moved through that. Um, you know, you can do everything from actually ask for prayer requests inside of the online worship experience. So if somebody has a prayer request, we can handle it right there and we forward it onto the prayer team. Mm -hmm. So we do that. Um, we've had people, we've, it's just also a great way to administer to people who are in hospice care or hospital right. care for that matter. We've had a lot of stories of people who are in the hospital who are out for major surgeries for weeks on time and their only connection with Brentwood Baptist is the online worship. And so we've had a lot of really cool things come through the online worship because of that. So we're really excited to see what God's done through it. Okay, how do you find it? It's super easy actually. Every Sunday morning, just go to BrentwoodBaptist.com. It's the first banner ad you Big see. Button. You just click on it, it says go live, and then boom, you'll be taken right to our online experience and you can enjoy worship right there wherever you're at around the globe. So that's every time you hear about a Brentwood Baptist worship service, it's online. BrentwoodBaptist.com, click the button. That's Daryl Guardier. I'm Mike Glenn. Thanks for the time.